Here's hoping you'll never have to. But just in case, let's talk about changing a flat tire. If you get a flat tire, make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Also, make sure the ignition is off, the hazard lights are on, and the parking brake is fully set. If at all possible, block both the front and rear of the wheel diagonally opposite of the jacking position. For example, if the left rear tire is damaged, block the right front tire. If equipped, the jack and spare tire are both stowed under an access cover in the trunk. Remove the fastener securing the spare tire. Now you can remove the spare tire. Remove the fastener securing the jack and remove the scissors jack and lug wrench from the spare wheel as an assembly. Turn the jack screw counterclockwise to loosen the lug wrench and remove the wrench from the jack assembly. Now loosen but do not remove the wheel lug nuts by turning them counterclockwise one turn while the wheel is still on the ground. Place the jack underneath the lift area that is closest to the flat tire. Turn the jack screw clockwise to firmly engage the jack saddle with the lift area. Do not raise the vehicle until you are sure the jack is fully engaged. Now, you're ready to raise the vehicle by turning the jack screw clockwise. Raise the vehicle only until the tire just clears the surface and enough clearance is obtained to install the spare tire. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Okay, now go ahead and remove the lug nuts and wheel. Mount the spare tire with the valve stem facing out. Damage can occur if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Reinstall the lug nuts and lightly tighten them clockwise. Now you can lower the vehicle by turning the jack screw counterclockwise and remove the jack. Once on the ground, you can finish tightening the lug nuts. Alternate lug nuts until each one has been tightened twice. Maximum effort should be used for final tightening of the lug nuts. It's always a good idea to have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by an authorized dealer or at a service station. Now, just secure the tire, jack and tools in their proper locations, remove blocks from the wheels, and you're ready to go. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.